Hi Scorpio, welcome to your June 1st through the 15th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Please consider subscribing. I'm going to be having bi-monthly tarot readings. If you hit the little bell icon, it'll notify you as soon as I upload a brand new video. So what's the central? Oh, and also in the description box below, I just launched a brand new website. Uh, please check that out. It's really cool. So what is the central theme of Scorpio's reading for June? Okay, so the first card that I have is listening. So the central theme is you need to be listening instead of talking or doing. It's a time of just listening and reflecting and just hearing what all is going on. Pay attention to your dreams during this time. Your dreams hold the secrets of the subconscious mind and will be able to guide you further. So you need to listen to your dreams and you need to take time to center yourself. There needs to be a time of centering. What is presently affecting Scorpio? All right, so I have the King of Pentacles in the upright, so it could be a Capricorn. Um, it can be a man or a woman. It's a clear, it's a uh, secure, disciplined, abundant, ruler, someone who makes the rules. It could be um, new finances coming in. It, it, it's telling you to take time. It's Virgo energy. Take time for yourself um, to reflect. It's also a very critical energy. It's very service oriented. It, it's kind of a worrisome energy, but it has the Midas touch. Anything that you touch turns to gold at this time. Um, so that's, that's great. <laughs> so you have the Midas touch. What's crossing Scorpio presently? What's crossing Scorpio presently? Okay, so we have, we're getting a lot of earth energy, which is very grounded, very secure, very in the material world. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles, again, is Virgo energy. So we have Virgo energy twice here. And this is all about um, education, apprenticeship. Could be an engagement. Uh, working hard. Studying. Working hard. Increasing your skills. Your money looks good presently. So financially, you look very well off. When the past is affecting Scorpio, Scorpio's present, when the past is affecting, okay. So again, we have more pentacle energy. So in the past, we have the page of pentacles in the reverse. So the page of pentacles in the reverse is there's a lack of progress or planning. There's short-term focus. And then we also have the Queen of Wands, but she's in the upright. So the Queen of Wands in the upright is very confident. She's a socialite. Um, she organizes parties and events. Um, she's very sporty and athletic. She's very free. She's optimistic. Um, she's the life of the party. She brings people together. She brings organizations together. She's like the popular high school cheerleader that everybody loves. What is Scorpio's biggest fear? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What is Scorpio's biggest fear? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What is Scorpio's biggest fear? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. Scorpio's biggest fear? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. Okay, so I have death reverse. So there's, your biggest fear is not letting go of the past of being obsessed with somebody or something. Um, 
holding grudges, being resentful, and things not progressing, things not starting. What does Scorpio true, and that is you, um, death is your card, uh, so it's that's actually your energy, so it's being uh, resentful, being very resentful and suspicious. There's a very intense, powerful energy that comes from that card. What does Scorpio truly wish for June 1st through the 15th of 2018? What does Scorpio truly wish for June 1st through the 15th of 2018? What does Scorpio truly wish for? You wish for things to come in fast. Um, just a lot of forward movement, swift, speedy, um, action oriented. It could be air travel, so going on an airplane. This is Sagittarius energy, so it's uh, very free, idealistic, um, so just blind, not, not candy coating things, just things saying what you mean and doing and having things come in fast, just not waiting, no. no no, like, uh, you know, sugar cutting things, just having things come in and come in fast. That's what you truly wish for. You're sick of waiting. How does Scorpio view themselves June 1st through the 15th of 2018? How does Scorpio view themselves June 1st through the 15th of 2018? So you view yourself as someone who has a release from pain. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's brand new beginnings. This is Gemini energy. So you view yourself as someone who's very communicative, somebody who's very social, friendly, lively, um, the, somebody who, who's a great friend, who gives unconditional love. But makes poor choices. Um, you also view yourself as someone who's a little like scattered and superficial. How do other people view Scorpio June 1st through the 15th of 2018? How do other people view Scorpio June 1st through the 15th of 2018? Okay so they're viewing you and we're back in you in your energy. This is water energy, and you're a water sign. Um, so they're viewing you as the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is actually Cancer, but it can be Scorpio. It's still that water energy. So she's very emotionally secure. She influences the king. She's very calm, intuitive, compassionate. She's nurturing. She's maternal, domestic. So that's how people are viewing you. And they're viewing you as somebody who has a lot of willpower, self-control, somebody who's co-creating their destiny, um, who isn't just letting things happen to them. So they're viewing you in a very good light. June 1st through the 15th of 2018. So what's coming towards Scorpio June 1st through the 15th of 2018? What's coming towards Scorpio June 1st through the 15th? Okay, so I have the King of Wands and he's in the upright. So this is a natural born leader, a uh, entrepreneur. This is Sagittarius energy. So I'm getting a lot of Sagittarius energy. A lot of this is just very free. I, it doesn't have to be like a Sagittarius is coming towards you. It, it's just that energy of somebody who's very free, idealistic, blunt, doesn't sugarcoat things, doesn't cut corners. And that's really what you want. That's what you want to come in because that's what you truly wish for in the Eight of uh, Wands that came out. So um, this corresponds, I always see this as the emperor in the major arcana. So it's very organized, rational thought. Um, it could be Aries or Sagittarius, but it's specifically a Sagittarius. Um, but the emperor would be Aries. And it's just a very strong, natural born leader, somebody who's very confident. Um, What's the outcome? What's the outcome for Scorpio? June 1st through the 15th. Well, the outcome, again, 
so this could actually be Aries. We have the Fool. So it's new, brand new beginnings. It's very pure with the white rose. Um, very foolish. You're running off of a cliff, but you don't care. You're happy. There's childlike wonder here. Um, just very innocent new beginnings. And you have your your buddy right there who's just following along on your side. So that's a great card to get in the outcome. Is there anything else in the outcome that Scorpio should be aware of? Yeah, more new beginnings. And I'm getting a lot of fire energy. So there's a lot of fire energy and there's a lot of um, earth energy here. So there's a lot of um, activity, June 1st through the 15th. It's a very active time and it's also a very grounded time. So it's not very, it's not a very emotional time. It's just very um, grounded in the material world and it's very active and energetic it's impulsive um, it's fun there's a lot of fun athleticism but yeah so this is brand new beginnings um, this is inspiration creation there's potential here again that's Aries energy Aries Sagittarius energy so very um, kind of impatient impatient the the only thing that we have that is you it's how people view you. Everything else is not you. <laughs> it's not even close. It actually is complete opposite of you. Um, we have the, you know, being grounded in the material world, practical, wealthy, finances, all, all in alignment here. Um, you're viewing yourself as someone who's going through, like, painful lessons. And... We have just this energetic, and, and there's there's uh, the queen and king right here in a row of, of wands, which is fire energy. It's, and one is Aries, one is Sagittarius, and then we have Aries up here, and then we have more. So there, there's definitely Aries energy here, major Aries energy. Oh, and you are also in your biggest fear. So you're, it's like you're afraid of being yourself. Yeah, it's like you're afraid of being yourself, but there's, in the outcome, there's something brand new coming in. So it could be an Aries or a Sagittarius person, or it could be just a brand new experience, but it's going to be very fun. It's going to be very adventurous. It's going to be very exciting. It's going to be very impulsive. Is there any other messages for Scorpio? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. Perception and beware of people wearing masks. Some people, they, they like to wear masks around you and hide who they truly are. You need to use your perception and see beyond the mask and see who they truly are. Because some people are just really good actors. You're full of grace. Use it. Show it. Look how beautiful. That's you. See behind people's false exteriors. Well, Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, that was your June 1st through the 15th tarot reading. Please consider subscribing. I'm going to be having bi-monthly tarot readings. If you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Also, I have a brand new website that just launched. It's in the description box below. Um, please check that out and uh, comment. Let me know how this resonated with you. Have a wonderful day, Scorpio.